Hello, I'm John Begno. Today we're going to talk a little bit about irrigating lawns especially. It's a, there's a misconception or rather a misunderstanding of what one inch of water is. When it rains an inch, we comprehend that pretty easy. But when you're trying to apply an even one inch over a landscape turf area or yard, it becomes difficult. And it, it's not rocket science. The way we measure it is whether rain, we use rain gauges or any smooth sided cylinder. I like to use these little trays that you put underneath pots. Um, you put those just to keep the water from ruining your, your deck or whatever. They're about smooth sided cylinder. They're almost one inch. Uh, and we say one inch deep. Doesn't matter how wide they are because they're gonna be catching all that water and carrying it down there and you measure. So when you're using a sprinkler, and it doesn't matter what type of sprinkler, in the audit process, you would hope it would put an inch of water as close to the head as it does out beyond the head, but it doesn't really work that way. And that's why when people design your sprinkler system, there's overspray, there's overlap, because it has a tendency to have less water out at the distances or the further distances. So audit your system by putting quite a few of these out, some fairly close to the head, and then some way out there, move them around, make sure that your heads are all the same and they're delivering the, roughly the same amount of water when that station comes on if it's a sprinkler system. And if it's an individual uh, sprinkler, you'll know the distance, how far. If it's an impact head and it shoots large droplets, those are very, very good by the way. You'll want to make sure at the end it's delivering as much water as fairly close. One inch of water a week is a guideline we have. And we say, well, well, how did you come up with that? Well, research shows that one inch of water, rain or irrigation in our soil, goes approximately eight inches deep. Well, that's good for turf grass. It's not good for trees, keeping them alive, but it's excellent to keep turf grass green and growing and alive. And you could, and we may have to in the future, go to once every two weeks, and one inch every two weeks will probably do okay, keep it alive. It will not look real good. But that's what we're at right now, is trying to learn what one inch of irrigation water is. It's as harmful to some areas of turf grass by putting too much water down because you're training it not to be tough. When you have one inch of water, as the water moves down in that soil, so do the roots. They become tougher and tougher, and they can withstand longer intervals between irrigation. So try this out. Measure your sprinklers, your, your sprinkler systems. See if they are delivering water smooth, efficiently, uh, and then calculate it and see if you're getting about an inch. And if it takes you 20 minutes to put an inch in, you run your system 20, inch, 20 minutes to get that one inch in.